my name is Kevin and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to carry on with machine and the cylinder head. Um, I have done some bits, just drilled some fixing holes, you know I don't really need to show those and there's my slot in the side here for where the um, push rod is going to fit into. But what we're going to do today is we're going to machine around the cylinder, where the cylinder head is going to go, we're going to machine a radius around there and then we're going to carry that radius across and machine all this area flat here. And then we've got a flicker over and the same again on this side. So anyway, I'll bring you in and I'll show you the drawings and then we'll get set up on the Miller machine. So the radius we're going to be machining is this one here to begin with and then we've got to carry that across and just machine that flat across here and then we've got this big radius on the bottom as well. And here is where it actually sits onto the base and then there's a radius at the back here. So in effect we've got the cylinder head and then the radius on here and cutting this material away here and then there's another mat radius here. Um, as you can see here's our block compared to the drawing and we're going to be machining this radius as well and obviously cutting all the material away. So let me just zoom out. So to hold this on the Miller machine isn't going to be particularly easy. I don't want to mark this, you know, I've already put, you know, like the odd mark into it, but I don't want to put any sort of deep impressions because obviously that's going to be the finished size. So we're going to, rather than actually clamp this down, we're going to fix it to this fixture, which is just a piece of aluminium angle screw it through the back using the fixing, fixture holes and then we'll put a, a bolt through the bottom here to hold the, you know, the front square and then we'll clamp it down onto the rotary table there. So the first job is to set the coaxial indicator up and to find the centre of um, our rotary table and then we'll put the workpiece on and then we'll find the center of that. So there you can see the needle is hardly moving and we're sweeping around the center of the rotary table so that's more or less spot on so I'm happy with that. Now we've got the cutter which is dead on centre of the hole. So what we'll do now, we'll move the table across until we get to our measurement and then we'll put a, we've got a ball end mill in here at the moment because obviously we've, we're going to have a small radius around the top of the cylinder head and then we'll use a um, normal end mill just to take off the rest of the material.
Right, so next is the water jacket and the coolant tank. So we're going to machine the top part on here and then obviously we'll machine in and then we'll have to try and machine out the inside part here. So if we go back to this drawing, so we'll mark off first. So what I'll do is I'll blue this up and then we'll start to measure out and then we'll machine this hole into and down to this level here. Well, we've milled the hole all the way down to where we need to. It finishes down around this area here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use a boring head with a boring bar in, and we're going to go in, move out, and then we're going to obviously make that tank bigger inside. So from that lip you can see there, um, onwards is how big it's going to be. And what we're going to use is just a normal boring bar. I'm going to grind this portion away here, just so we can get, you know, get in here better and get in here to a bigger size. So what I'll do is I'll just grind that away and then I'll show you the tool when it's finished. And here's our finished tool. So as you can see I've just ground away some of that, just relieved that on the back there. So it's still going to be plenty strong enough for aluminium. So what we'll do, we'll get that set up now and we'll start to machine that away. Well that turned out to be a bit of a mission. I switched the camera off in the end because I just had to concentrate on what I was doing because um, obviously the boring bar was inside here and once I got down below this level here obviously the boring bar was wider than the opening. So I was going up and down you know obviously removing material but I didn't want to come up too high and then just destroy this edge. So anyway so it's turned out well I'm really happy. So that's it on that now and the next stage is to do the machining at the top here which is um, to put a radius, a small radius in around and cut the material to leave this upstand. So that's my next job and we'll get on with that now.
well that's the cylinder block all complete I'm really happy with the result and it's you know it come out really well I don't know what I'm going to do with the engine uh, when it's finally finished whether I'm going to paint it or whether I'm going to leave it in like a polished aluminium state I don't know yet but um, it does look nice in the polished aluminium and I haven't put any marks in it you know through clamping it in the vice or anything like that you know so it is like a few little tiny marks on there but they'll polish out but anyway if you like this video please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video thanks a lot